In the last video, we explained how to calculate resistor values, but we left out one important calculation, and that is how to calculate power in resistive circuits. This is an important calculation, as without it, you will find that your resistors may burn out, or worse yet, burn you, if you're not aware of how much power your resistors are dissipating. Welcome to the sixth video in our series on basic electronics using fusion, power in resistive circuits. Named after James Watt, the watt is used to measure power in electricity. The unit symbol is uppercase W. Power dissipated by resistors or supplied by DC power sources is equal to current times voltage or I times V. In this example, we can determine the current flowing in the circuit using Ohm's law. I equals VR over R or 10 volts divided by 10 ohms, which equals one amp. And so power dissipated by R1 equals one amp times 10 volts or 10 watts. Similarly, the same formula can tell us the power delivered by the source. P equals current supplied by the source times voltage supplied by the source, or 10 volts times 1 amp, which equals 10 watts. There are two other variations of the power formula specific to resistive circuits. As stated earlier, power equals I times V. And according to Ohm's law, I through a resistor equals V across the resistor divided by the resistance, and replacing I with V subscript R over R yields P dissipated by the resistance equaling V across the resistor over R times V subscript R, or V subscript R over R times V subscript R over 1, or V subscript R squared over R, which equals 10 volts squared over 10 ohms, which equals 10 watts. Notice the use of the R subscript in this formula. Identifying variables with a subscript is a good idea as it will minimize errors. V subscript R means the voltage across R. P subscript R means the power dissipated by R. The final variation of the formula substitutes Ohm's law for V in the formula P equals I times V, where V is replaced by I subscript R1 times R1. And so the power dissipated by R1 equals I subscript R1 squared times R1, which equals 1 amp squared times 10 ohms, or 10 watts. Again, notice that we've more tightly defined the variables using the R1 subscripts. This habit will minimize value substitution errors. The three general case formulas for power are P equals I times V, P equals V squared over R, and P equals I squared R. The power delivered to a resistor by a source is dissipated as heat. Resistors dissipating more than but a watt of power can get hot to the touch and even burn the skin. Make sure that the resistor is rated for the power that will be delivered to it or it will be damaged by the excessive power it's being asked to dissipate. Next in the video series, we'll look at how to calculate resistor values used in typical applications and some practical considerations.